Hey guys, welcome to the Edge W Boat World Tour 2017 in Montreal. We are here at the Dream Act Canada and I'm Truthman from Robot Looking TV. Of course, you guys know me and this is Carl from Mr. Tech QC. What's up, dude? Hey, how are you? Uh, doing very well. Um, you're going to be commenting the next Correct. few matches Correct. with me, yep. which is uh, going to be interesting. You're Correct. mostly doing content in French, right? Correct. So I do tech reviews in French. I'm in the Montreal area. Most of my audience is in France, but I'm from Montreal. And it's been two days and I have no more voice, so... <laughs> so hence why you have an extra microphone. Correct. <laughs> so let's hope that the sound will be good for you guys. Yep. Uh, we have the, the next match coming here for the amateur, so the PvP for the amateur. Uh, that will be Kafumbla against Link Prince. Uh, that's going to be the first semi-final as of today for the HWBOT World Tour 2017 here in Montreal. That's going to be 2 times 15 minutes and uh, they will have the same platform to overload based on the Intel Core i9-17920X. That's going to be uh, powered by a Seasonic 750W Snow Silent PSU cooled on by an Alpha Cool all-in-one water cooling. It's called the Ice Power 420. Uh, all mountain on the open bench table. We have um, a Praxer that was delivering the LN2 as well for this right. weekend. Sadly, we don't use LN2 for these specific matches as of today, but uh, we used that in the in the past in the past few days. Um, uh, there's a gigabyte motherboard as well, the Eros X299 Gaming 7 platform uh, that was used for this one. And of course, Overclocking TV were here covering these these matches, and we have a very nice, good-looking setup. I mean. We spent really? a lot of time on it, uh, but you were not there yesterday when we were sitting up. No. So what do you think about uh, this when you come in this morning? Yeah, I was the first guy coming in. I was really impressed. Um, I, it's the first time I actually see in person the uh, the final setup. Last year at LANI TS, I saw the qual like the qualifier part, like what we had yesterday, but not what we have right here. So it's really cool to see in person, and all the multi-cam setup is really impressive. Wow. Let's uh, let's see that uh, you guys will like it now. Uh, don't uh, don't forget to let us know on the live chat here on Twitch.tv over the King TV channel what you like to see. And actually, if you're watching this video on replay on YouTube, let us know in the comments uh, who you cheering for, even though you don't know what they're gonna do right now. And don't fast forward to the end of the video to see. Yeah, yeah, cheering for the right guy. Yeah. All right. Uh, let us know in the live chat who you're cheering for, and we'll be able to tune in to the judge in the next few minutes to uh, have a quick reminder of the rules and starting the competition. Yeah, that might uh, take a, l a little bit more because they're uh, fixing the last few So details. do you have any bets on the winner? Uh, I don't know. I have to say that Kafumla was actually benching that was one of the match that was not streamed today because that was uh, too, too early to, uh, yep. to do. We had to uh, try on that. Uh, so far, I do expect that Link is going to have blue screen quite a lot. Yep. And to have Kafumla to, to go straight into 4.5 GHz and then try to tune in the previous cash. That's what I expect from him as of today. Yep, uh, I'm going to go for the opposite side. But yeah, the, uh, the right system for us um, on the right side is has a bigger tendency to crash, but hopefully they switch mid-term. So, so that's going to be the system that will be in blue for the first part exactly. of, the, of the game. There you go. And then blue. that will be in Blue for red. blue screen. <laughs> 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 that's the blue, blue screen. Correct. So, yeah, I know All that... Alright guys, so we are good to go with the first semi-final here from uh, the HIVOT World Tour. Um, so we've got uh, Kalumpa, right? Correct? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how you pro <laughs> Uh, again, here in blue, um, against uh, Link Prince, over here in red. You guys remember the rules, the rules didn't change. Same XTU benchmark, two runs, two times 15 minutes. We do the sum of both scores and that's your final score, okay? Every time you got a score, you raise your hand, you call me, I repeat the score to you and then you can continue. Any questions? No? Yeah? Every time you get a score, you just call me, I repeat the score and then it's valid. Go. And here we go for 15 minutes on XTU between Link Prince on the red side and Kafumbla on the blue side. So straight up 4.2 gigahertz. I, I mean, at least 4 gigahertz. It's a it's an easy base clock for any system. Uh, well, either system. Blue, blue screen. screen! <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was expecting that one. 
Straight from the beginning. Okay. So on the blue side, four gigahertz is, seems to be the start. I mean, I like the tactic of starting with a, a basic score, uh, just to make sure you, you have something out and build a profile that um, starts you somewhere, so that if you crash, you don't have to uh, reset your system and you all dial in. At least you have your like you're close to the the clock you're going and all the the, the voltage. Uh, you just have to hold like a couple clicks and you're good to go. Um, so it's a good thing to do is have a profile with uh, so like four point something gigahertz, so you don't have to go from like 29, 20, like uh, up to like 4.8, for example. So it's gonna take a little while here for um, for the the red side to uh, get back into the system. So there we go into XCU. And okay, so we we have Kafumla that will be first core, first core 33.25. So 33.25, oh, you need to call the judge to validate that. The, the score is not validated yet. Yep. The score is not valid. It didn't really? call out the judge. Okay, that's weird. Um, oh, okay, so we had the second judge, like the, the, the second referee that was okay. in the back that says, okay, this one is valid. All right, that, that's, that's good. So another benchmark for Kaboom going on. Should be this the short course should be out shortly. It's been running at 44 multiplier, or so 44.4 gigahertz. Let's find out where this. Okay, so it's slightly better. <laughs> 34, <laughs> 57. All right, that's that's not bad too. Like for a second run, that's really yep. not bad. Um, keep in mind, it's already at the processor processor cache ratio is uh, already at 30. Uh, 30. So that's going to be 3 gigahertz for processor yep. crash frequency. And uh, still at 1.1 volt, which is pretty low. Crank that volt up, dude. He's going to need Crank it. it up. He's going like really slowly, but at least he's not crashing. So that's not bad. Um, right, we can see there's no thermal throttling or any throttling at I all at this moment. But it's only 1.1 volt at 4.5 gigahertz. This is very safe. Uh, even though they're still using the water cooling, so we haven't seen any thermal throttling for the, the past four games. Correct. Uh, here. Even with my testing, I was like at 1.25, and those coolers are fully capable of taking that with the 12 cores. Um, from what I've seen by, by now is a limitation from the um, from, from the power delivery. Uh, I was pushing like 4.8, 4.9. I was getting lower and lower scores the more I push the CPU. So the limitations here are probably the power delivery and the voltage. Because temperatures are handled pretty well as of right now. Well, and the place is not that super hot here as well. No, so, it's pretty cool, So it's a very actually. nice um, like mix. Oh, there we do have uh, Link Prince nope. at the first core. For Link Prince. Yep. First core for Link Prince. And we have a crash on the Kafun bus side. Fun story, uh, uh, Link Price is a guy that I, I knew from school. Uh, oh, really? To, yeah. Um, one of my colleagues on my enterprise uh, like introduced me to him, so it was funny to see him here, and best of luck to him. <laughs> <laughs> so he's from Montreal. Yep. Yeah, he, uh, he's not in my school anymore. He's, uh, he's now working for OVH, I believe. But yeah, uh, he's, he's slightly into tech. He's not, that, he's not an overclocker, but he likes what he... He discovered this week, so that's good. Ah, that's awesome. Link Prince, 3394. And uh, Kafuma, I was talking with him just before the show started. He's from uh, Ottawa. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Not that, not that far away from here as well. No. Like three hours. Oh, and we see see that oh. Link Prince mm -hmm. is having current limit throttling. So that means oh. he's using too much um, current for the for the CPU. So right. there's there's just a few way to counter that. We won't say it right as of now. We have to to wait to see if, uh, if they can find that out. Right. But this system is using, was having the same issue, uh, the same challenge with um, Sydney just before, the match before, right. and he managed to still do it at 4.6. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's at 1.15 volts, so there's still a lot of margin right. uh, behind that. Then green, 34, 39. 34, 39, okay. So, fun. I find it weird that they still don't change their time window for their turbo boost power. Um, on the uh, price side, still at 8 seconds. 
curious to see. Yeah. Did you uh, when you when you did the when you did the oh and it crashed when you did the testing uh, the past few days? Right. Um, did you did you thought that it was doing some uh, change to reduce the time window for the power? Yeah, power um, boost? I, I didn't do extensive testing into it, but I know that at um, I, I didn't crash. Um, well, I crashed at 4.8 gigahertz. I can't recall the the voltage or in any other uh, parameters, but I know that once I changed it down to uh, 0.25, which is the lowest value, um, I didn't crash. Uh, there was a slight margin of performance, uh, but that said, the higher you go, the you have the power delivery that limits you quite a bit there. So, yeah, extremely annoying. <laughs> Right, they are both back into uh, the system, so they will be able to, to bench. By default, that 7920X CPU, a 12-core CPU from Intel, is at 2.9 gigahertz, and the guys are straight in, make it yeah. look at like 4.4, just to get the most out of it's 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 closer in terms of score than the, the matches we had uh, we had before. Right now, Link Press is wasting precious like seconds. Um, he didn't save any profile from what I see, and. He clicks. Well, he edits all of his uh, parameters when he when he boots uh, on the Kafumbla uh, size. He has a profile. He just changes one or two things, and he's good to go. So maybe after multiple runs, it could save him a couple seconds, uh, even a minute or two. Yeah, we saw some of the guys doing that in the like Sydney and Nate, the two twin brothers that yeah. were just before. They were doing that as well. Do a settings, check if it's working, save it in the profile, yeah. and then start again. Thirty-five before. See, already 3,500. Not mean, bad, not bad. And it's like just like halfway through the first round. Yep. That, that's crazy. I, I, li I like to see these amateurs because even for us, uh, like seeing the extreme overclockers like years after years and all the competition and all that, it's, it's very good to see like newcomers. They, they do a little bit differently. Uh, they don't have the same uh, craze for voltage, I would say. Right. <laughs> and I mean... A, a thing is that uh, someone that's starting out won't have the same approach than someone with experience and knows which parameters and has extensive testing with the platform. They learn how the platform worked like yesterday. So they go with the flow, they see what works, what doesn't, and they do their best. And it's, in my opinion, quite exciting to see compared to uh, pros that straight up go into uh, the BIOS and straight up put some big settings there and there and you don't know why. So when we look at these beginners, we have a more comprehensive, um, a, a, we have a more comprehensive look on how and why they're doing stuff. So uh, a good thing in my opinion. Oh, so 1.2 volts on link price side, on the cash voltage. He's playing a lot with the cash. Um, and for I know, RAM and cash has a big influence on XTU. So that should be helpful for what I know. Uh, there was someone asking on the live chat. By default, by default, the uh, the, the XMP profile one is loaded for for this platform. Okay. So that's to make sure that uh, both setup uh, both setup have the exact same setting in the BIOS, right. and they they are all reset to default all the time before each of the matches. So yeah, actually that's a good way. Like clean up all the profiles in XTU and uh, make sure the BIOS profile are exactly the same. They're not allowed to go into the BIOS for the amateurs uh, because of course someone going to the BIOS. Yeah, they, uh, they don't need to anyway. It would just be a huge waste of time. And XCO brings an easy interface for most, uh, most beginners, which is a good thing. And from what I know, it's the only benchmark that offers that, so a good thing. Well, that's good. You don't have to go and, uh, and trickle with the uh, like crazy yeah. UEFI. And, the knobs change names depending on the motherboard and all that. There you go. So yeah, I, I guess that's cool to have like everything done in Windows. You can you can just change, test, crash, ah, just restart and just exactly. test again. That's that's super easy. You don't have opinion. to reset CMOS and everything. It's just straight into Windows. So both systems are down. Oh, there we go. Link price back. Um, back in the Windows. And still no profile. All right. Still no profile. So you have to do that every time he's getting know, into Windows. I know. I mean, that's what good. He only time. changed two things or three things, like the multiplier, the core voltage, and the crash. 
Correct. Just doing the, the crash again. So CPU multiplier, core voltage, and the last thing was the processor cache ratio. That's the only three thing is changing. So maybe right. for him it's not uh, interesting to save the profile, but then we see that uh, Kafumla is always, always, always doing it. It yep. just it just load this profile yeah, right here. A very good practice in my opinion. Um, at least all the power max is unlimited on both sides, which is good. But still, no, no edit on the time window for the triple's power. Um, so, oh, a crash again on uh, Kafumla's side. Is it? Was it touching the uh, the cash ratio again? Uh, um, I know that. I I know that uh, link price was not true for Kafumla. All right, let's uh, let's have a look, a closer look at link price, like link print, not link price. Link price, oh. link price in the description. Print. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I've been around, like not pronouncing it correctly since the beginning. My bad. Link prints. Prints. My bad. Oh my God. Okay, that was awkward. Um. <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks you that some of the guys here don't have names like some of the people on Twitch. Oh my God. Like, hey, welcome uh, each time I, do, I, I don't do live streams often, but each time I look really dumb because half of the time when YouTube like generates the thumbnails, I'm looking at the screen like really intensely trying to read a name because I don't get it. So I look really dumb. 44.57 on uh, Link Prince side. Okay, so finally a BPCC in edited on Kafumla's side. Oh, that's eight. good. That's the first time someone is touching I that know, one right? in the game. I, I like it. Are they allowed to take their phones and check out tutorials while the competition is going? Officially, they are not allowed to take any notes. Okay. But they're not taking notes before the start show, the, the, the match start, but right. they can take notes during the match. Okay. So it's like they can save profile, but they, they cannot import profiles. Okay, I see. Yeah, I mean, you have to. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, I made all the testing for the past yeah, two days. Just, platform. just, just for my USB key with my profile. <laughs> so this is my BIOS profile. This is my XU profile. Oh, and now this is my now bench score. Price. <laughs> <laughs> Gigs of boot issues for Link Prince side there. Um, Interesting. Kafumla was Okay, now Kafumla will be playing with the cash voltage. That's good. Uh, cash ratio maybe, please? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, oh, it's at 30, so that's not default, but still. Yeah. Great to see. Uh, static into, voltage uh, and temperature wise, I'm curious. Um, max temp I've seen is 56, average I'd say around 40 because they're going up and down between 36 and 50 or so. So that's good. Um, all right. One, one day I want to talk with an engineer from XU and understand why it never uses 100% of the CPU compared to, like, compared to like Cinebench or something. Oh, it's just because of the workload. Oh, so really? the workload is based on Prime95. Oh, and it's, it's Prime actually Prime. looping different. So you have, uh, I think, like uh, five or seven different loops. Okay. So it's like looping. So that's why sometimes you see like CPU usage like going down and then up again, and then down and up again. Okay, so it's basically like Prime95, but multiple of them stitched together. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it's not. I'm not an XU engineer, but I know the answer for That's it. Good. <laughs> Which is a very heavy kind oh. of uh, of this time because it's like looping in and out, in and out, and right. It's for, on a constant for, for us for us here. It's not a big deal, but for extreme overclockers, it's, right. it's quite hard to uh, to have this under extreme uh, under liquid nitrogen as well. Yeah, it's two different things. When you overclock sometimes the CPU and just put a constant work a workload like 100 percent, it's going to stay stable. But when you go in a, a realistic workload, when it goes up and down, it goes all over the place, and then you crash. 15 seconds. Okay, so 15 seconds. Let's find out who will win. Well, <laughs> I think and as of now, none of them are, are in Windows, so I don't yeah, think, so I think that will have the chance uh, to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. The match is over. <laughs> GG Link Prince. Uh, GG. Am I right? Well, yeah, it's not finished yet. So. Oh, right. <laughs> well, round one. <laughs> so round one is off. So Carl, can we? Uh, what can we get from this first part of the run, and what can we expect from the uh, from the second one? Well, I mean, 
if I could talk to Link Prince, I would go and say, hey, bro, we know each other, right? Do freaking profiles. Come on, you're wasting time. But uh, otherwise, I like how it's going. At the start, they went with the easy, um, all the easy stuff. They went and did, you know, the basic, the uh, core voltage multiplier. And then the board goes, um, they realized, okay, I can push further than 4.6 or so. So I'm going to check the cache. Um, and I, in my opinion, that's really great because the, the biggest influence you'll get is the uh, core multiplier. So you get the big stuff out of the way and then you go and fine tune, push something uh, we don't see, well, most of the time we see, but we don't see all the time from beginners. Um, so yeah, I'm not made out of the frame. <laughs> um, so there we go. We yeah, have I, I like to see these uh, this, this beginners because it's way different. As, uh, as we told just in the first part of the match, it's way different on how you, you, you can do it. Um, totally. I'm surprised because this is the first time we used the 12 core CPUs from Inza, the 7920X, into an amateur competition. So we had uh, the 7950X a year ago in June during Computex when we were doing the uh, Broadwell e launch with right, Intel. I remember. It was but a huge event. That was a huge event. That was the first time 10 cores and people were just you know, playing with it. And But those cores on the Broadwell E7950X were very, very close. Right. Here we do have almost like a hundred point difference between the two platforms, between each of the game. And I was explaining the, 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 the this course to be very close by maybe an amount of like 20 to 45 points. But here we have like a hundred points difference. Right. We know one of the platform is a little bit more tricky to get than the other one. But the key point is that as uh, they will have each time, each of the overclocker here, the amateur, will have 15 minutes on each of the two platforms. That means we will add up the score, and then the total score will be uh, the, dis the, dis the deciding Correct. fight. I think it's more fair. It is because, as of right now, the system on the right, which is the, which was the one uh, Link Prince was using, had a high tendency to crash since this morning, uh, constantly crashing. Well, Silicon Valley, I have to say. Um, I don't think it's from the motherboard power supply. I highly doubt no, that. No, it's just just no settings that don't play well together. I mean, and that's why you have to to do the workshops and, and train on. Right. So um, it's a good thing that they swap the system. It gives like a good chance to both. So I think the judges are done resetting the system. From what I see here. Um, so yeah, just a few minutes away. Um, so what we what we are expecting now is to see Kafumla to break that 3457 score from Link Friends. If right. you break that score, that means he's better at tuning the platform than yeah. his opponent. And it's not just the system. Yeah. And we see that the platform that Kafumla had just before uh, is the platform that is not doing the best score right. overall. And he has the best score of that first round. So that means he's far in the lead. Uh, he is like the, the, the leader for that next, uh, next quarter. Correct. Um, so um, that's going to be Ottawa against Montreal, I guess. It seems, it seems. And I, it seems to be like French against English as well. Yep, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, on another note, I mean, I've been really impressed by Dreamhack. I've seen a lot of people come by. A lot of people are shy because they don't understand overclocking. But the people that got their guts together and can't approach us and ask us about it, or we approached by our own because we saw they were shy, they were really interested. and. It's a matter of just trying it out. Once you're trying it out, it's re overclocking is really fun. I'm just missing times so, so on my side. So, all right, uh, I think we have the sign from the judge here. All right, so, guys, yeah. and we are ready to start again the second round of this first semi-final here at the Shabbat World Tour. Um, no change in the players. Are you guys ready for the next 15 minutes? Yep. All right, so get ready. Three, two, one. Go. That's it. We're going back again into XTU for 15 minutes. The goal for them is to make sure they can reach the highest score possible on the platform. And we can't wait to see what the guys will pull out. I guess the first one already crashed. Seems like on it. On Link Prince. Oh, God. It seems to be crashed. Oh. Oh, in. the two crashed. So I again, overconfidence. I get overconfidence just, from yeah, the beginning. Went straight in. Double crash. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> went straight in with 4.5. Didn't apply the right uh, core voltage, and then 
that's what uh, that's what happened. You know, I, that's I have to say, it's funny how Ixyala is really shy in person, but he's not. But when he stands something, it's always a meme or a joke or something. <laughs> All right, so both are booting in. Uh, you can see on the camera there our big uh, LN2 pot that we didn't use that much. But I had my first LN2 experience yesterday, which I love to do. And I have to redo again. So a big shout out to Mark0053, if that's correct. Yeah, for, um, for landing the gears. And big uh, big shout out to Praxair as well correct. for providing the LN2 for the yeah, event. I personally uh, thanked uh, Mark yesterday on Facebook for the loaner because... Yeah, I'm gonna have the Ellen 2 uh, icon on my uh, HW bot uh, account once I post that, which is good. <laughs> All right, back at it. Link Prince is in XTU and he's at 4.4 gigahertz, 1.15 volt of coral voltage. These guys are very con like, quite conservative on the voltage they put in. I think most of them experience the if, if you put the voltage that is a little bit too high, you just you just end up in a power limit. Correct. Power limit. Well, I, w I was about to say thermal throttle, but not a problem here. 420 millimeter rads, totally capable of taking that uh, that uh, heat. But yeah, um, if it wasn't about the power delivery being limited, well, limited, quote unquote, we still have double eight pins on these gigabyte motherboards, but still, uh, still very power hungry uh, uh, CPUs. And um, 3325. That's good. And um, we're on 12 cores. There's also 18 cores that will draw way more power. So um, I'm curious to see if uh, vendors will come out with uh, even beefier power motherboards with uh, better power deliveries for like better. E e even more. I, I hope we won't go against the uh, 48 phases thing. Oh, that would be <laughs> that would be crazy and crazy prices as see, well. See, we, we had like link prints just like in the in the middle of the run of the benchmark. It ran into the current limit troubling. Right. Which means it's not, it, it's using too much current or not having enough power delivering. Exactly. Uh, so there's some limits getting on here in the safety. But still getting some scores, getting, getting close to 3400. And just to be clear, it's not something against the Gigabyte motherboards. It's something on every XU name on the board right, as of right now from what I know. So um, it's it's just a different way. I mean, in the past, at top we had ten cores, and exactly. nowadays in uh, we have like up to like we have ten cores, uh, twelve cores now on Intel. We're gonna soon have eighteen cores as well. Uh, this is a game changer. I mean, this is changing the way we do it. I mean, right. As of now, we're still using to clock the twelve core at the exact same speed. This is something that will change in the next few months. Actually, not even years. That next few months, we're gonna have to tune in per core. And see what can be done. That's that's going to exactly. be very interesting in the in the coming months. That's what I like. Well, new platform overclocking is fun because you see what the new platform can do. But as much as I like that, I love seeing old platform overclocking because we difference. overclockers had time to find out all the little tricks of all the tiny settings that can sometimes make a huge difference. Um, there's still some a couple overclockers running on F, old AMD FX chips that are not even sold anymore. Just because, yeah, they know how to overclock, overclock them. Yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Bill doing that as well from time yeah. to time. So, All right. Um, so we, we do have something that is quite interesting going on on the uh, on on the on the scoreboard. If we look at Kafumbla's cores, he he does have 3,500 points score, which right. is which is way more than what Link Prince was able to do on the same platform. It's only five right. minutes in the game. Yep, five minutes. I, I didn't have time to check uh, in detail what uh, Kofumla is doing precisely compared to Link Prince, but uh, we'll check that and see uh, what makes a, such a difference uh, considering uh, the system swap and still being in lead for Kofumla. So yeah. So far, that's gonna be very hard for Link Prince to catch up on Gafumla. And I mean, he still have 10 minutes into into this round. 10 minutes. Yeah, we don't know what. Uh, maybe we'll be able to uh, to do it. Uh, but if we if we have a, a closer look side by side, Link Prince is trying to get 4.6 gigahertz. Trying. He's, yeah, trying. trying. <laughs> he still at 1.15 volts, so, which is very conservative. Uh, he's playing with the cash ratio a lot. Still, he's only at 28, so 2.8 gigahertz. Um. Okay, uh, sorry, I have to rant right now. 
Um, hey guys, you know the core voltage? Don't hold the arrow, just just type it in. It's quicker. You have a number pad. It's there for that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I don't know why Kufubla is still not... Well, he on the last round he was using the BCC and, and uh, if I remember correctly, it helped him uh, quite a bit. And uh, he's not using it right now. But that said, he did go. Oh, blue, oh screen. blue screen! All right. That's it. <laughs> He's discussing with his friends, like, oh yeah, so this. Oh, this he didn't thing. even realize. He okay. 94, 94 for okay. Uh, a little bit of score in there for red. Still below 3,500. There's, there's, there's still more to come. There's still more to come. Only eight minutes before the end of that game. Uh, do you think Link Prince can make it? No, I'll <laughs> be honest. Um, if if uh, he would have, uh, well, okay. he could put out like a 36, 36 10, like uh, he, like uh, like Nate did before. I mean, in any sport, overclocking, e-sport, even like sports, sports. If you know what I mean. Um, once you do, when you do one round. Go and rest for, re, re, like, a look back at what you did and do something different. If you, if you don't know what you did wrong, just try something different. And because if you're just trying again and again what you were already 35, doing. 35-13. There you go. Oh, First right. time above 3,500. Okay, that's but good. That's good, but still behind. He's Big brain still, quite, still quite a bit more to uh, to, to over Pascal Fumbler there. But yeah, I was saying... Uh, if, if you don't know what you did wrong, try something different because it won't pay out if you just constantly do the same thing and again and again. Um, being the same, doing the same thing, it never helps. Bring change in, and you could be surprised. Actually, that's was that Einstein that say that. Sorry, like, was that Einstein I that have say no that? Idea. Uh, it's like um, the the only the, the craziness is trying again and again and again the same thing and expecting different results. Right. Which is the the proper definition 35, of being 30. insane. So 4.6 gigahertz at uh, 64, 65 degrees maximum temperature. So we still have a lot of uh, headroom in terms of thermals, uh, yep. but I guess the, the the limitation here will be will will be coming from the uh, the power delivery, which is power right. angry for the oh, for the course. Screen. And we got a blue screen. So um, I'm, I find it pretty curious that he's. Um, Link Prince is uh, using a uh, core um, uh, cache offset instead of voltage and adaptive. I'm curious if he went into static and put a constant uh, voltage instead of offset, if that would help him out. But I won't complain. He's been uh, doing a slightly better in the last minutes. Still have uh, six minutes to go. That's, uh, yeah, that's tight. That's tight. Getting um, tight there. Um, was he using adaptive? Offset or static offset? Ada um, adaptive. So adaptive offset will kick in only when the turbo boost is on. Correct. Which means that an extra and he has boost a, a delay second on that one. So there you go. That might be the reason why he's crashing. Okay, so seventy forty six total for Kafumbla. and sixty nine seventy total for Link Prince. So still about. Under a hundred points difference, but still uh, a difference to go and climb there. But I don't think um, Link Prince will be capable of pulling back together uh, uh, that difference in the score there. Okay, uh, 1.85 VCCC and 4 blue Fumbula. And let's find out his score in a couple seconds there. Blue screen! Blue! That, that platform is very tricky. That, that specific one is very tricky. Totally. You push a, a little parameter too quickly, you get bottlenecked by something. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm curious, what is the minimum cooling for those CPUs uh, over 4 gigahertz? Um, I know that, well, the 420 rads will are totally enough for at least for arrow standard cooling for standard usage. Maybe not for overclocking. Overclocking, you will always want. I mean, overclocking. I mean, the the, the tube is basically overclocking by itself as well. I know. But, but like overclocking, just as <laughs> going full out on what you correct, can. Correct. Correct. But uh, I'm curious to see in day-to-day -day usage what we can do with uh, basic cooling. So. 
Hey Intel, if you want a video about 35, that, uh, I have a tech channel. 32, <laughs> link prints. This is getting closer. Less than five minutes in that second round between Link Prince and Kafumla. My voice is dying. <laughs> I don't feel well. When you, when you spill the blood in your, in your lungs, it's not good. All right. Uh, there's only four minutes left, so yeah. l l let's try to finish. I have a 30 minute life to do MSI. Kill me, please. <laughs> All right, hey, 35 51 points. So it's increasing. He's, he's actually beating Kafumla now. He's beating yep. Kafumla. Right. Because Kafumla was stuck at 35 42. So maybe in the next three minutes, he can. He needs to pull out like a, decent, like a very nice call, though. Right. I know the big prize is a 7700k of power supply and a water cooler. Is there a loser's price? Oh, for sure. I think the top four will get something. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. So I think there's a CPU, PA, PSU's t-shirt and uh, coolers as well. I don't okay. exactly how it's uh, ranked. I think cool. the first one gets the, the pack and then someone has like one thing less, one thing less in right. the t-shirt. And I'm curious, are you going to use these boxes after? Yeah. Oh. No, actually you can keep the big boxes. Uh, All I right. Just, I just want the front side and hang out my wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are three minutes into this game. It's the first semi-final for the amateur PvP between Link Prince and Kafumla. Whoever makes it here will make it to the final for the amateur. Yep. Whoever, well, get the most points will decide who is the third place or the fourth place. So that's very important for them to keep trying, even though they are uh, not getting totally in the lead. It would be very interesting to see if Link Prince... So Kafumla is not improving his course so far. At all. Crash after crash after crash. 35-42. That's, that's, that's below what he had before. That was actually his score from before as well. Exactly. Um, no VCC and... No. Wow. Link Prince. VCC in. Come on, bro. Make it happen. Eh? Make it happen. Make it happen. You it's know how that works? It's the secret sauce. <laughs> it's crazy how the Smash tournament right now is making so much noise. 35, 13. You're lucky that we have the can, uh, like non condenser mics because well, that we have dynamic mics because if we had like a condenser mic, you would hear the whole tournament and it would be insane. So that would be Smash Bros. on the live. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be like. Overclocking smash, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's called a rage quit. <laughs> 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 All right, one minute and 20 seconds left. We have right. Link Prince right now that is lacking behind by a good 80 points. And Kafumla that is in the lead. <sighs> Over 7,000. That's nice. At least Link Prince gets now above 7,000 as well. So that's getting closer but not as good as we could expect. Um, this is getting closer in terms of scores because before that we always have we always had 100 points different, but now we only have about 50 points. Actually, 48. Correct. No, 47. Well, I don't know how to count anyway. It's fine. This is the move counted for seconds. us later. 20 seconds mark. Seems like Kufumla is pretty happy there. And Link Prince, Prince is, is just like, very oh focused. Oh my god. <laughs> Run the benchmark. Yep. There you go. VCC in. Oh, sorry for my microphone. <laughs> VCC in 1.8 for uh, Kifumbla. Um, oh, Link Prince crash. Oh, they oh, both crash. Both, uh, crash. Oh, and there's ten less seconds. than 10 seconds. There's no way they can so get back into the system. So that's GG for Kifumbla. GG. GG. GG, Kafumla. Nicely done. Nicely done, guys. All right. So we have the winner camera 7055 for Kafumla, 7008 for a length price. And there you go. It's to you, two rounds. Woo! GG.
All right. And we are back in the so, cast of booth, guys. Yeah. That was quite a game. Right. I, I really like to see uh, to see this one. Uh, the, the two guys went very uh, very hard. Uh, they didn't play as safe as the one before, no, but they not. knew what they were aiming for. 4.4 uh, gigahertz straight in from the start, then improving bits by bits up to 4.6, and then we then we okay. add the so, what? So, so yeah. We price. VCC in man, VCC in yeah. is the secret sauce. <laughs> so, well played man, well played. <laughs> you you stay job, around, man. I think we're gonna still see you around for, uh, you get that, that. That, You might get third or fourth place, so yeah, maybe yeah. that would be a, well be around. Um, how was the game for you? Um, actually, I, I didn't want to play too much with VCC. The main reason is, I, every time I, I statically input it for the, uh, base amount, I believe it was uh, around 1.8, 1.9, and when I put it in and I apply the setting, it would automatically crash for me. Oh, so right. I, so, and, and just by default, the 1.1, 1.5 voltage that I apply to the core always works. So I mean, and and just the setting in particular wasn't working for me, so I didn't try to mess, mess with it. So okay, I don't so understand why it doesn't work. Okay, that's the reason why you didn't use that many of the uh, VCC. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. It's good to have any, uh, good to have an explanation from the, uh, the player there. So. Uh, so you can try to keep pushing it. If you apply it, it crash. <laughs> there you go. Keep pushing it. <laughs> on your shirt. <laughs> keep pushing push it. it. If so you guys want to get this T-shirt, you can go on the Twitch TV or oh, Cooking TV page. Talking about shirts, I'm happy. Um, I, I only came to get this T-shirt actually. No, just <laughs> kidding. It was really fun. But I'm happy. I, I'm official, officially. As you bought, but yeah. Hey Peter, if you watch that. <laughs> hey Peter, thanks, Ben. <laughs> All right. Um, if you guys want T-shirt from Overclocking TV and supporters, you can always go on Twitch TV slash Overclocking TV channel, and the Keep Pushing It T-shirt are on the link in the description. And you can make a ton of puns with your girlfriend with that shirt too. So yeah. Actually, okay. if you're a, <laughs> if you're a developer, you can still keep push in git. There you go. There hey, you hey, go. hey! Marketing 10 out of 10. Developer joke right here. Yep. If, if I had a mic, I would drop it. Oh, where is our ah, mic drop? It, damn it! Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, don't drop this I one. I know, I know. Okay, for you guys to know, just before the show, we're making so much fun. I was like, yeah, we might have to do something about that for the live or for the people here. It's like, okay, so we bought a mic on Amazon just to drop it. Obviously, not this one. No. Obviously, different. not this one. But uh, yeah, we had uh, we have like a very like low end mic that we can take and just drop it. But because you're not supposed to drop the mic, it's actually not good for them. All right, so that's almost the end for this part of the live. We're gonna come back soon for this next semi-final, and for that time we'll just take a short break. You're gonna. I have no more points. I have a live for MSI in an hour or so. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Go check my channel, youtube.com slash MrTechQC. I do tech reviews. And I guess I'll be back on the channel at another event. And maybe at CES. I don't know. We'll see Who that. knows? Who, Who knows? knows? And you're Who in knows? Montreal, so we might end up in each exactly. other. I hope the stream as well. Exactly. So, uh, guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the commentary for this specific match, uh, let the commentary on. If you like well, how uh, Carl did the, the commentary as well. If you like this kind of match, if you learn things on this live, give us a thumbs up and a commentary. Uh, for everyone here on twitch.tv, overclicking TV channel, thank you guys for staying here with us. And we will find you back in the next few minutes for the second semi-final that will feature uh, let's say, Sydney and Dali. I'll continue next time. Keep pushing it. <laughs>